Kent Life is a farmyard in Maystone that has been celebrating 150 years of farming. With over 20 acres of land, it offers activities for kids of all ages. But, with the decrease of farmers in the UK, will the Cobb Tree Group keep farming employment figures high? So the Cobb Tree and Cobb's Cobb's been around for quite a while, and it's evolved really over, over the years. And what they basically do now is come in every Saturday morning and they look after all the animals we have here at Kent Life. And also during the summer show season, they look after their own animals and they get ready for the shows and they take them off to the shows to try and win some prizes. With a decline in farm workforce, employment numbers are dropping at an alarming rate. Between 1939 and 2000, the amount of farms dropped by an enormous 200,000. Since I've come to the farm, I've learnt that actually I, it's something I really enjoy and I would like to carry on in the future. I'm currently going to Hadlow College and study agriculture, and so it all ties in well. We spoke to one of the leading managers to see how they help the Cobb Drew Group get to grips with the trade. Well, the Young Farmers Group meets um, on a Saturday. They'll start to do the first feeds for the animals and what have you. Then they'll start to clean the animals up, check their bedding over and stuff like that. I think throughout the country there's a need for more young farmers groups, yes. There, there's no doubt about it that a lot of the younger community these days do not really fully understand and appreciate where their food comes from. So I think it would be a good idea to try and encourage greater um, young farmer groups around the country so the youngsters can engage with aspects of the rural community, engage with animals and livestock and develop also life skills as well. With an increase of young agricultural groups, farming employment can begin to rise again, keeping the farming trade alive for years to come. I've been reporting at Kent Life, back to Samantha for the studios.